Yo, what's up guys? It's your back home plus you here. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys you guys can uninstall custom cursors. So sometimes a lots of people, um, if you go over here and search up like for example, if you wanna have uh yourself your breeze snow cursor and you're like, okay, let's go download this one and you download it. Uh okay, yep, probably from not that link. But like, for example, like this one, you have to dial it. So just click right here. You're, you're dialing it. You're like, okay, yay. I can't wait to have this cursor. But then you see installed the INF. You're like, okay, let's just go and install it like usual. Uh, so you go over here and you go install it. You right click, install, yes. And look, now if you type your mouse settings, uh, look right there. You got yourself a little cursor and you're like, Wow, I love it so much. But then, in the next few days, you're like, Oh man, I don't like this, and it's so boring now. How do I delete it? Well, there is a way by clicking delete, and you can delete from there. But it still comes up. So here's how to completely delete it. Um, f So for this, I'm using the Mac OS cursor, because I'm right now loving this cursor right now. But here's how to delete it. So you want to do, you want to go over here and type in reg edit and open it. Uh, you should be inside computer, so just just make sure you're, uh, come on. Bro, what the heck is this? <laughs> well, this is not supposed to happen. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you should be, make sure you're, you're on the computer tab. Just enter that. And click edit, then find. And after doing that, you want to do, is you want to look for the cursor's name. In order to find the cursor's name, go to the additional mouse settings again and find where it says breeze or some, just write something that says it and then just put inside here. So, for example, I'm going to be typing breeze. So, click, uh, uh, click enter and it'll start searching it. It's going to start searching the name and trying to find it. So, it might take a few seconds or probably minutes, I don't know, because it's searching the whole thing to try to find it. So it might take a while. Okay, there. Now, if when you find your mouse cursor, you should be inside computer. Hey, current user. Um, H key, current user. Control panel, cursors, then seams. Then you should be inside here. Now you're like, oh, there is my cursor. So now you can do is you can right click, click delete, click yes. Now, if you refresh your uh, additional mouse settings or your mouse properties uh, thing, if you go to pointers, click right here, look at it. It's gone. Now you don't have your own no more. You're like, hooray, I don't have it no more. Yeah, no, that was super dang easy though. But, um, but yeah. That was just a quick video just to show you guys it. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. That's it. I'll be you guys can that's if how you guys can get uh uh that's how you guys can, can uninstall your custom cursor that you have on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. This works on also Windows 10 too, and also Windows 10 is going end of in it. Windows 10 is going end of support uh soon in 2025 I think or possibly 2026. People uh Windows has officially announced it so. Uh, when it hits 2026 or 2025, and you're like, oh no, Windows 10 is going to end, switch to Windows 11. I know you're like, but Windows 11 has more bloatware, which is more apps. Don't worry, you can optimize it with other apps. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. That's the FA Against. You can uninstall your custom cursor on Windows 11 slash 10. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's it. Alright, peace.